welcome back to the YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can actually multiply your fruit plants in your garden without having to go and spend any more pounds or dollars. Uh, I am going to show you one quick tip that I use which is called cloning. So this is my blueberry plant, various uh, different types of blueberries. And uh, what I will do is I will snip off the new growth right here. And I will salvage that one. And let's have a look for another area. bit off here you see and then it goes I'll pick it up and I've done some orange or tangerines which I had earlier and this is my honey 100% organic and some potatoes these are all you're going to need to do this clone. Okay. Here is one of my black currant, well, a blackberry, blackberry plant, which is growing crazy. Right down to the bottom here, you can see the berries at the bottom. So I'm going to try to also clone this. I'm going to have to remove it from the top growth here. Okay, so let me get the scissors out. One right here. Cut it up. Here, I have some potatoes which I grew in my back garden. I haven't used them because they're so small, but what you should do next is you're going to have to pierce a hole. That's it. You can use any tool just to pierce a hole, and we're going to do this for most of them so instead of throwing this old small potatoes away you could just use them to clone whatever you have and multiply your fruit trees in your garden that's it pierce right in the center doing here there we go pop it in there this is what I will use to promote new roots it's a hydro cocoa completely natural in a powdered form and I'll explain what happens next. This is a, a cap for my honey. We don't need too much honey, so to, to cap the contents that's already in the cap should be sufficient. And I'm going to show you what I'll do next. So this is from my uh, citrus plant, orange. And what I want to do is I'm going to dab the honey. It's a bit difficult doing it with one hand. But here we go. Let's try to get some. There we go. 
and then I will dip it in here and then transfer it here. Screw it to nice tight screws. That's the first one done. We'll do it again. There we go. This is for the blueberries. The same. Just push it right. Okay, I'm going to have to make a bigger hole for this. There we go. And don't worry if it's holes over. We're going to put it into a pot at the end. And so we'll get some more. This is how you clone and they will grow. Hopefully in three weeks time I will show you an update regarding the progress. Goes in. Yep. Scoop all this honey. Tiny dab of the rooting powder. Let's make another hole here. The last one is going to be the blackberry. I'm going to try to make a wider hole because it's pretty big. In fact, let me use a bigger potato instead. There we go. You see? Forgive my dirty nails, but I don't mind getting my fingers dirty when gardening. This is all natural. And a positive, the advantages of this is you don't need to go out and buy soil. You can just use whatever you've already got at home. Use what you already have. Uh, you'd be surprised what you can do. Just push it right through. So the juice, the juice is just oozing out of there. This is perfect what you need. And then so there we have it. Uh, they will be getting all the nutrients they'll need to grow and uh, producing new roots within the potato and the potato will also be providing that nourishment they deserve. I will spray them from time to time uh, just to give them the 
the extra boost of uh, water so thank you for watching I should give you an update with it in the next two weeks I will put them into my little miniature greenhouse in the garden and now I'll let you see what happens thank you for watching please show me some love by clicking that like button you can do this you'll be surprised you can multiply your food fruit production in your garden by just doing this simple method thank you very much